I'll be ranking every single Fortnite event in this video. We all know live events, they're great, you know? We all look forward to them, and it doesn't seem like they like to do them anymore, so that sucks. Some of them are great, and some of them are not that great. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoy. So first up, we have the Rock event, one of the most iconic live events in Fortnite. And it was so cool at the time, you know? There's hype building up, you know, Omega versus Carbine and stuff like that, the superhero and the villains. You got the visitor, then you got the, like, launch place area for the rocket, and we saw it getting built and stuff. It was just awesome. It was very short, but at the time, it was revolutionary. The way the rocket just flew by and opened this portal, it was amazing. And when it was about to tilt it, it was crazy. And when it hit the air and made that crazy sound, like, wow, it was crazy. It was sick. And of course, has to go to the top. I mean, how could it not? Now, the cube event. Now, this one was not as good, but it's still pretty cool. You know, how the cube was slowly exploding over the time of the season, the island, you know? And then when it exploded, we went to this realm, like this weird white place, and there was like a butterfly, and then we got teleported back, and we got Leaky Lake. And I'll be honest, Leaky Lake sucks. But anyway, yeah, the event, still pretty cool, but not nearly as good in my opinion. So good. Now, Marshmallow event. At the time, it was cool, but now, I'll be honest, it kinda sucks. Kinda lame, to be honest. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. It's just not that great. And really, I think it's only gonna go in met okay, because now looking back, there's so much more of Fortnite events could have done, even at that time. Okay, the snow event. Um, very short. And people at the time hated it. It was kinda cool. Nothing crazy. But, uh, I still have to put it in okay. Now, the unvaulting event. There's some hype, you know. They were, like, digging through Loot Lake for some reason, and then the portal opened up and stuff, and this hole opened up or something. And, you know, people could vote for whatever they wanted, and for some reason, people really wanted the drum gun. So that was brought back. And I almost forgot the volcano and uh, we lost tilted which sucked and also retail and also had polar peak which would eventually lead to the next event but i'd say it's good better than the season six one now season nine now this one is great monster versus robot now it was awesome right it was cool it was great one of the best of all time in my opinion i mean i pretty much knew the robot would win but it was still cool regardless you know the monster came from polar peak and then it just came back i guess and how at the end the robot takes a sword from neo tilted and then shoves it in the monster's skull is awesome great event i put it at the top now the end i'm a bit like mixed on this one because it ended chapter one on a pretty strange season overall but the way there were multiple rockets and the meteor came back and stuff is really cool it's definitely one of the best of that chapter but it's just a fact that it ended chapter one which makes you feel a little you know negative but still really good top tier and now this is where live events kind of became shit. Uh, Star Wars. Um, this one was very shit. We got some space fight with the um, flying uh, Star Wars planes. And then a bunch of yapping. Some random guy came and then we saw like 50 seconds of like the new movie, which is also ass. And that was it. My opinion, worst tier. Awful. Now Travis Scott, this is arguably one of the best, if not the best. And the way it was, it hadn't been done before. Concerts were just new to the game. And it was just great at the time. It was so sick. It was amazing. So many people were so hyped for that event and it was just awesome the lighting everything how everything would change and then we would go through that thing we we're flying towards the end of the event it's just crazy definitely top the device season two chapter two it was pretty cool it was pretty cool how you know pushed away the storm for a bit and then came back but then and then we somehow went into real life for a second there out of the simulation or whatever kind of strange and then towards the end like there's a whole wave there's like water the storm is water now which was cool for a while but i feel like it could have kind of lived up to its hype better so we put in a great now Galactus event. I missed it, but it was cool. But why would you bring Galactus to Fortnite? Why would that be part of the story? I don't get that. Now, what I don't like is when you have to shoot things. It's not gonna change how the event's gonna go. They make you feel like it's that way, but guys, we're not all five-year-olds, okay? And then he takes the ball orb from the map at the beginning and all the battle buses go in his mouth and it explodes. It's good, but nothing crazy. Now this one was a bit of a strange event. Season six one. Um, it wasn't a live event. It was an event. You just went into the game with solo. It's walked around and did a bunch of shit. I don't think it was good. It's not a live event. It defeats the purpose of live events. It does not feel good. It's not great at all. There's the spire at the middle of the map and stuff. It's just not a great event at all. Bad. Ariana Grande event. It was pretty cool. Not nearly as good as Travis though, but there were a bunch of other random stuff in the beginning. I think you got Juice World song and then something else. Went through this, these random maps and stuff. And then there was Ariana Grande eventually. He flew around with these, I think, llamas? The sky or something? But I'd say it was good but not great. Season 7 event. Um, it's not that great to be honest. It's like, what I don't like is that they started doing the thing where you run around and follow some guy in some place that's not even on the map. It doesn't feel like a live event anymore. This new formula of live events they've created is awful. And, and also, I hate Dr. Sloan. He sucks. And then how the cubes come back? Okay. In my opinion, not that great. But at the end, where everything falls down and explodes and everything explodes to the map, that's cool. That's sick. But once that other season started, it wasn't even close to being like that. So I'd have to put this in meh. Now, 
the end. This one's not nearly as great as chapter one, the end event. You know, there was the blue cube at the beginning shielding you, and then you had to shoot these monsters. I don't like how you have to shoot stuff, because it's not gonna change anything. You're not gonna, if you lose, there will be some other outcome that would be cool. There's no way they can get that to work, so they need to take away the shooting, because it's off. And then again, there's the thing where you run around and follow some guy and do some stuff. It's just not good. And then there's a cutscene for like one third of it with The Rock. Oh my god, Fortnite. Learn how to make events again. The island flipping was cool at the end, though. That was cool. I put this one to bad. Now, Fortnite Collision. You start off in some place in space, and then you fly with the robot. Once again, shooting. It's just shooting for the most part. It's not good. And they took back the robot, and it's like, dude, some justice, man. Make a good event with it. They've lost their ability to create good events like how they used to. These all blend together, in my opinion, as someone who is not enjoying Fortnite as much. And then again, you run around and follow some guy talking, yapping a lot. No, it's bad. Okay, this one is regarded as one of the worst of all time. End of chapter three event. I missed it, but I looked at it and it's awful. There's a cutscene for some reason, and then for like half an hour, you're at this place in the middle of fucking nowhere playing a creative map. These are random tasks, and it's like, what? This is not a live event. Someone could have easily made this in creative. And I agree, this is one of the worst events ever. Worst. Bottom, bottom tier. The Big Bang event with Eminem. I was so hyped for this. I, I really thought that Fortnite, they just brought back OG. I'm like, okay, they're gonna make one of the best events of all time. They didn't. Now, I'm sorry if you guys like this one. I did not. Because I feel like it's underwhelming. They advertised Eminem as being the main part of the thing and it just didn't end up that way. You know, we saw Lego Rocket Racing at Fortnite Festival. And it felt more like a commercial rather than an actual event. If you get what I mean. It's like a trailer. And Eminem had like two minutes. He had like two songs. Not even playing the full song either. That part was cool. But way too short. Travis Scott was like ten minutes. Eminem was like two, three minutes. Like what? And like, I bought the Eminem skin and everything. It was gonna be so cool and boom and plus i got kicked out of fortnite that makes it even worse i have to put this in bad tier i'm sorry i'm really sorry so yeah that's my final ranking if you disagree please tell me at the end of the day it's my opinion feel free to subscribe like notifications on because i'll be making some more ranking videos once i'm done with that i'll make some actual content don't worry so yeah see ya